Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send it to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever hey guys. you go. Uh, we're back in Texas. Um, we're near two known sighting locations at Class Alpha, Class Bravo. Uh, pretty dated, but anywhere from 12 to uh, 10 to 12 years old. Um, some of you guys mentioned about going on some expeditions with us and I think we're going to try an Oklahoma one um, possibly next month so I will post that uh, meet up location if anybody wants to just come on out and you probably need a four wheel drive doesn't need to be super heavy duty or anything but uh, you know some supplies water at least for one day or um, but yeah we will definitely post that Moving on here again to class, known class Alpha, class Bravo uh, in t North Texas here. Uh, it's pretty close to our base camp, so we figured we'd just go ahead and uh, knock this one out and see what we can find. Um, we're moving down to the Greenbelt Corridor, uh, where a good sized footprint was found, and then a uh, also a investigator got a triangular call uh, back out of it in other words they did some calls and they got three separate calls from uh, different locations so as if there was a family of them basically um, again if you if you go out doing this you know we recommend that uh, don't really go alone uh, and that you always uh, you know you should go armed really um, you know these are wild animals they're not you know warm and fuzzy whatever you might think they are you should be prepared for really anything uh, be careful you know just a little disclaimer there anyhow um, I will pick the tape back up here in a minute guys uh, we're back down here again near the known siding location uh, Greenbelt corridor water's moving pretty good and trails not bad uh, try and see get a little closer into uh, the known location Not a whole lot of people here. Did see some fishermen uh, back up the canal here. Uh, there has been recent rain, so there has been recent rain, so that would explain some of the runoff. Um, you know, if you do come out and do some squatching, it's important to kind of believe you will see something you know it's uh, either you kind of believe it or you don't and uh, I've heard that from before from other you know researchers not that I necessarily call myself a researcher but it's important to uh, get off trail a little bit here expect to believe or expect to see, I guess you could say. The sighting uh, supposedly happened when the people on the canoe they were canoeing down this Greenbelt corridor had to actually um, go around a log jam somewhere along this and when they took their canoes around the uh, log jam they saw some footprints so that's what made it a class Bravo sighting um, 
just due to the fact they didn't actually see one, but they had some footprints, um, which we'll include in the report, probably in a separate video, that, uh, I mean, unless you have a 800 pound stomping machine, I don't know what else you would call it, to make that type of footprint, yeah, it's really not gonna be possible, I don't think. So, pretty peaceful out here. I'm gonna go a little further down on the, back up on the trail and see, uh, you can see I'll pick it back up there. Hey guys, back up on the trail. Um, I want to tell you guys I got a new backpack that I'm using. It's great. Uh, I was able to get, uh, you know, water, my protection. Always come out with protection. Um, you know, some food, uh, extra supplies, stuff like that. And they're pretty comfortably. I'll, I'll show you the backpack here in a minute. Um, I got a, a new jacket too, uh, but it's just, it's way too warm today to wear it. It's like a, it's kind of like a military grade. It's not Gore-Tex, but works very well in rainy, windy conditions, you know, like 35 below or 35 above and below. Um, anyhow, still following the green belt here. Uh, getting a little more thickly wooded, which is interesting. Um, still on the trailhead, but uh, the siding I was saying they were canoeing down this green belt, and they had to actually um, go around the the log jam and you know take to the shore and that's when they saw the footprints the other Klaus Alpha was a actual sighting about 10 miles from from this location so it could be down the green belt further or further up towards the lake area um, so I'm going to take a look down here Looks like something, probably most likely people coming down here to fish has worn out this little trail. Nice day, it's supposed to be, it's about in the 50s now, it's supposed to be in the 60s. Soon. This is actually a wildlife preserve too, so um, you know, no hunting, not that, you know, poachers don't get in here, but uh, it's supposed to be no hunting. Um, and this actually is a connector between two lakes. Uh, don't see any structures per se, but uh, doesn't mean we won't find any further in. But uh, yeah, two dated siding locations. Again, guys, we're gonna be heading up on that other expedition into Oklahoma. So if anybody wants to join along, you know, just leave it in the comments. Love to have you. And I just say no structures and I see Something fairly interesting right there. Almost like, uh, yeah. So, little, almost uh, small sticks kind of piled up. I suppose, you know, man could have done that, you know, mankind, human. 
it's pretty small sticks but uh we'll keep looking keep it rolling here a little bit further down um i may have to pick it back in the vehicle and see if i can get further in i think the actual location was quite a bit further down from here um, although this would probably make a good spot for a night investigation because I think definitely with all the fish that are probably in this corridor I would say that this is a good food source. Um, I saw signs for deer on the way in. So, you never know. You know, like Squatch can, he can definitely, you know, live in an area like this. Um, you know, you got water, you got food, you got, you know, it's basically no honey. This is, you know, prime squatch. Um, this area might be a little rough as far as humans, you know, trying to, you know, if they're trying to avoid them like they always do. Um, you know, it's not going to be, from that standpoint, you know, there's probably a fair amount of fish, fishers, fishermen, however you say it, come down here. Um, based on the amount of footprints, which are all look pretty much man-made evidence of some fires you know someone probably out here at night trying to stay warm but yeah I think it's important sometimes you know just to stop and listen and see if you can uh, hear anything pick up signs of anything you know I think sometimes as squatchers we have a tendency to walk around a lot and miss things you know where stuff can kind of be right in front of you at times you know like my encounter uh, probably not even a class B really but had a, a wood knock and a I call it an acorn throw um, and it basically I unfortunately have lost the video recently where uh, you know well actually it's been probably over a year I actually had the, the camera kind of go buggy on me so not sure what happened there but this is beautiful location, um, very peaceful out here. That's you know I've said this before in other videos. It's just not it's not only the fact that we're out here, you know, kind of looking for Sasquatch, but Bigfoot. We're also enjoying the beauty of the, you know the land, which is really important to do. Um, you know we all get pretty busy and at times we forget to do that. I can see where the water ran pretty high in here based on where those bags are. If you guys can see in that, I'm sure the camera's picking it up. But there was a lot of water running through here, probably pretty recently too. Alright guys, I'm going to head back up, go a little further down. Um, and then I may have to end up getting in the vehicle to get down to the actual location. I was talking about that water running pretty high back there. Um, check this out. This is above the lake. Yeah, literally, I mean, 40 feet above it, and there's water up here. So, either this is kind of like a little catch or ran down to, but there's a lot of water running through here. I know sections of this trail is actually closed. Um, I think it's because it's flooding, but it's further up. Anyhow, guys, um, well, you know, one of my New Year's things is to be a little more transparent with you guys. Uh, 
trying to do some night investigations get to that to actually do more investigations in general um, my goal really is to use any of the proceeds you know from you guys buying the t-shirts hey this is not a thing don't don't feel pressured to please but if you do I'd like to use that money uh, towards getting some night vision gear so you know when we do head out you know we're a little more efficient you know daytime's great you know we can definitely have a chance to see one but nighttime would definitely be better um, especially if we keep having the meetups so yeah you serious squatchers out there my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing really appreciate it um, yeah let's expand it and see what we can do together and uh, you know uh, our thing has always been basically um, go to known sighting locations because we feel that has you have the best chance of seeing one um, rather kind of than just hauling off and you know going to somewhere where the odds are less basically that's it you know I'll, I appreciate all the Sasquatch community out there everybody pulling together and uh, you know uh, basically be a little cut this tape there you know lost my words but you know coming together rather than you know everybody kind of you know having their own opinion and then splitting apart and then nothing really gets done i mean everybody's got their own opinion don't get me wrong but let's let's work together is what i'm trying to say and hey maybe maybe we'll get some more decent footage let's hope and pray for that you know and maybe maybe even further than that you know this is a power of numbers thing and uh again appreciate every one of you guys and uh i'm gonna go a little further guys I'm not that young anymore but i will pick up the tape in just a minute and then i'll have to turn around but i'll talk to you guys in a second I try and i try and keep the camera rolling as much as i possibly can when i'm out here uh Hold on a second. Just saw something down here. Probably nothing. Looks like a something white. You never know. See a white shoulder cover Sasquatch out here. Be awesome. Uh, that's right down here. I don't know if you guys can pick it up yet. This camera. It's okay, but it's pretty good quality actually. Just the zoom is a little funky. It does, it does its job, though. Anyhow, guys. Um, saying that... Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> it's an age thing again, guys. Um, oh, look at that crane. See what I'm saying? Just being out here. I think that's a crane. That's a duck, actually. I don't know know what a Sasquatch looks like for the rest of the animals <laughs> rely on y'all <laughs> nah, I'm pretty good at you know the general stuff anyways but uh, anyhow guys um, yeah I was saying uh, try and keep the camera rolling you know like as much as possible I mean how, how many times I filled up my drive you know I actually cut a lot out because I you know it's like kind of boring stuff but the reason I do that though is you never know like you might catch one you know just popping out of nowhere um, you know like a probably a GoPro would be the best thing I'm assuming you guys tell me in the comments like you know is it best to have a you know hey, what guys. do you guys think what do you guys use had a little difficulty there for a minute my camera um, 
like I was saying, it's important to keep the camera rolling. Uh, I'm actually heading back out now. Did about 20 minutes in. I figure about 20 minutes out is 20 more minutes of exercise than I do on a regular basis. Need to get better at that, but uh, anyhow. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. And uh, those of you that have been with us for a while now, uh, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, leave your comments below. Uh, you know, please try and leave the, you know, kind of rude ones off. Um, there's kids, you know, to watch this channel. Just, hey. Anyhow, that area actually across the green belt looks really interesting over there. I keep kind of looking over there. Um, it's really got quite a big meadow right there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Hopefully, I'll raise it up here. Um, it looks like a pretty nice area. Like it runs all the way down to the river here, other than right where the uh, uh, little hill there is you know it definitely could be an area where you know large game sasquatch bigfoot could traverse up and down and not you know this side is the one with all the people <clears throat> that side is uh looks more remote anyways probably further down too that's why i want to Try and take the, uh, you know, vehicle further in if I can. I need to check the maps and see if that's even possible. Um, just due to the fact that uh, some of these roads, you know, they're not state park roads. So, or... They may be state park roads, but they're not maintained. It's probably better to say. Uh, again, beautiful country out here, guys. Um, Sasquatch, Ontario. Um, Sasquatch, Omega. Uh, all you guys, a lot of the names are escaping right now. You know, hey, keep at it, guys. You know, Colorado, Bigfoot, Sasquatch. Keep on going, man. You guys do a lot more than we do as far as, you know, way out in the boonies investigations. I hand it to you. Appreciate every one of you. Uh, Hopefully one day someone will get some good evidence. You know, if they'll accept it, that's the thing. There's probably plenty of it already. The acceptance is the hard part, I think. But maybe that's where channels like us, this community, comes in too. Uh, you know, the more people that believe, you know, eventually they'll have to have to come around and admit it and take it from there you know hey if it's uh protected and you know has something to do with the economy at that point so be it you know let's find out more about what sasquatch is what bigfoot is and see uh see if we can figure out you know more about the subject and maybe you will tell us more about who we are you know as people and you know and uh, to me it's just interesting because it's almost like we're on the 
last, well, I don't want to say the last frontier, but one of the last frontiers of, you know, a species that's not recognized. So that's kind of cool, being part of that, you know, and yeah, there's a lot surrounding it, all the hype and everything, probably like any other type of unknown bipedal <laughs> or, you know, any other animal. Uh, but again, I'm just trying to keep the tape rolling here, guys, talking to you, because um, you never know when you'll get a rock throw <laughs> or a, uh, you know, maybe I'll pick up a whoop. Um, that'd be cool to see one swimming across here, you know, they say they can swim. So. Anyhow, I'll pick it up here in a minute, guys. I'm getting gassed. Appreciate you if you're still hanging on this long in the video. You guys are true, true believers. <laughs> Look at that. It's possibly a, this uh, tree that's knocked over. That looks like a nest. You guys can see that right there. Right there. This is really not that far off the beaten path. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go.